Hey guys, how you going? This is Billy Eat World again, and thanks for taking the time to check out another one of my Battlefield 5 videos. Just remember, if you do like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also feel free to leave a suggestion in the comments for what you want to see in the next video. Now, in today's video, I'm happy to say we're finally going to kick off my weapon review series for Battlefield 5 with one of my favourite weapons at the moment, the Turner SMLE. And fitting that it's an SLR, because if you know anything about the history of this channel, you'd know that I'm a big fan of the semi-autos, which we usually cover here first for every Battlefield game. Before we get started though, I just want to give a big shout out to an awesome Aussie community member called Tilly, who helped me out with some of the in-game testing for this video, because unfortunately at this stage, weapon stats haven't been data mined yet. But the question is, what did we learn from the testing? And what is it that makes the Turner so fun to use? Well, stay tuned, and by the end of this video, you'll find out. Okay, so to kick off, the Turner SMLE, as you can sort of tell from the name, is actually a semi-auto conversion for the famous British SMLE bolt-action rifle. And although we don't actually have one of those in Battlefield 5 anymore, the Lee Enfield No. 4 for the recon class is basically the same gun, but shorter and with a few other changes. What that means is that on the surface they do look pretty similar in a lot of ways, and they both have the same 10 round magazine that loads from stripper clips. But with that being said, that's about where the similarities end, because not only is this an SLR, it's actually an assault SLR, which is balanced for rate of fire and not so much for long range sniping. Speaking of rate of fire, well, it actually fires at 360 RPM, which is currently tied for second fastest in the category, just below the M1A1 and just above the G43. And so what that means is that yes, it can be a bit of a spam cannon if you want it to be, which means for balancing reasons, well, it's not going to be as effective at longer ranges. Like I said before, we had to test a lot of things in game, like for example, damage model, but roughly enough, we figured out that it deals a max damage of 45, which drops off to around 27 at 75 meters. And so basically that means that it's a four shot kill max at long range, which steps up to a three shot kill or maybe even a two shot kill if you land a headshot at under 50 meters. So what does that effectively mean in game? Well, it basically means it's ideal for mid-range gunfights, but it can still only just compete in close quarters. And by that, well, I don't mean it can outshoot a guy with an assault rifle who gets the jump on you in CQB, but if you do land the first shot, then you do stand a pretty good chance of getting the kill. On maps with longer range engagements like Hamada and Twisted Steel though, well, that's where it's really gonna shine. And sure, it is going to have a little bit harder time taking out long-range targets than, say, the G43 would, but as you can see quite a few times in this gameplay, it is definitely possible. Bearing that in mind, the way that I normally set up the Turner is with the two times aperture sight because, well, it gives you a little bit more zoom without sacrificing too much screen area. And I mean, sure, you could step it up to the three times if you prefer that, but I probably wouldn't run it with irons or a one time sight because, I mean, if you want to be effective in CQB, there's plenty of other guns that'll do the job better. Also, I should mention that at most ranges, I mean, being an SLR, the recoil pattern isn't going to be too bad to begin with, and most of the time I found that if I missed a target, it was because my aim was off. But even so, you still should remember your basics when you're going for long range targets with SLRs, which is to crouch and go prone if you need some extra stability, and also make sure you pace out your shots. Now, just before we finish up, as for specializations, well, as you can see on screen now, I normally set up the turner something like this, going all the way down the left hand side of the tree. And that basically hits all of the short to mid range options where the gun is most effective. And especially it hits the extended mags option, which gives you basically double the magazine capacity. For a longer range setup, if you prefer, you can go mostly down the right hand side, except for the last one, which will basically make you a little bit more accurate at the expense of those extra rounds. But obviously, as long as you're keeping your distance, this shouldn't be too much of a problem because this route will also give you the detachable mags option, which will speed up your reload time. 
But anyway, to finish up, my top tips for this gun would definitely be to be really careful when you reload, which is something that you guys know I'm not that great with. Because especially when you've got to feed in both of those stripper clips, the reload is almost excruciatingly long, and I can promise you that will get you killed from time to time. Also, like I said before, this gun is best suited for mid-range, and so you'll want to be taking advantage of those three-shot kills at under 50 meters whenever you can. And also, a quick tip if you're not sure how far that is, is to hit the spot marker button and it'll give you the range to that point. And after a while, you'll find if you keep using that, you'll just instinctively know how far 50 metres is away. But anyway, guys, I guess that just about wraps up this video, so make sure you let me know what you think of the Turner SMLE down in the comments section below. And also just remember that this is a series that I'm hopefully going to continue throughout the life cycle of the game. So if you've got a suggestion for a weapon you'd like me to take a look at, leave that down there as well. As always though, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and please feel free to check out the links in the description if you want to see any more of these videos. And also don't forget you can find my Twitter and Discord links down there as well if you want to keep in touch. And as always, until next time, see you later and have a good one.